Hi guys, welcome to Cognitive Hub Talent Tutorials. Till now, we have seen about various uh, components in the transform, uh, various components in the Talent Studio to do a transformation operations in Talent Studio. But in this video, I am going to discuss about how to do a filtering without using a TMAP. That is by using a separate component for filtering in Talent Studio. Now, without wasting any time, let's dive into the topic. <music> Okay guys, here what I am doing is, first of all I have created a sample file here named products.txt. Here I have created the first line, first row as a header, header contains the product name, month and price and uh, for data I have created total of 9 rows and for Redmi Note 8 Pro there are 3 rows, for Red OnePlus 70 there are 3 rows and for Realme 3i also there are 3 rows. Now what I am doing is, I am going to filter it out based on the prices suppose uh, i want to filter out based on the price having a having a price of uh, greater than 15000 then i will get only few rows like one plus all the one plus 70 rows as well as um, yeah these are the only three rows that i will get if i mention the greater than suppose if i mention greater than or equal to then i will get all the three rows of one plus 70 as well as uh, two rows from redmi note 8 pro so that is how I will go. I will going to show you with the help of this example, um, and also I am going to show you how to add some relational operators for this condition. Suppose I want to check it out, like I want to print uh, load the data based on uh, two conditions. Suppose one condition is price is greater than fifteen thousand, and another condition is month is April. Suppose what I am going to do now is I will going to add two conditions having month equal to april and i am using a relational operator and here and price greater than 15000 so this is uh, uh, this is how you can use the relational operators in the t filter uh, row component this is the main advantage of it so let us see how uh, how it, it works in talent studio now what i am doing is i am going to load that products.txt into our uh, talent studio for that what i am doing is it is a delimited file so i am inserting a t file input delimited here to load a content from local system to the so t file input delimited sorry i am deleting uh, t file input delimited i am just replacing it what i am doing is i need, i have to configure it and i need to add some schema here i am adding the schema manually and for whatever the rows that we have in the lo like local file i am adding those names itself and here the product name is string so i am not changing the data type here and next one is month it is also a string so i am not changing the data type and the next one is price i have to change the data type to integer because it is a integer value not a string so i am clicking ok here once i am done with this it is configured finally the schema is fine now we need to assign the file path here wherever the products.txt is present in your lo local system go to that system go to that path and assign that file to it and i am clicking the products.txt and i am clicking ok now it is fine and you need to specify what is the field delimiter as well as a, like a field separator and the row separator here the row separator is slash n but the field separator is comma here so I am making it changing the semicolon to comma as well as here the header is 1 because uh, we have included one header value there because uh, why I am mentioning here 1 is uh, here it will uh, skip the one row from the text file to consider it as a data. So now it is successfully configured. Now what I am going to do is I am going to insert the T filter row. Now for the out what, uh, what the output what we will get is now after filtering I want only that like uh, rows records which will have a price greater than 15,000 and the month is equal to April. that is the output that i want to get so what i am doing is i have i want to connect this t file input delimited and uh, t filter row using a main connector here now what it will do is double click on this t filter row to go to component view 
and this is not uh, there is uh, like for the t filter row no need of assigning any schema for it it automatically gets uh, the schema of the input component and here you need to specify the conditions here first of all i want to illustrate you based on one thing only first of all i want to like uh, i am showing you only for the price for, for first thing what i want is for the price greater than 15000 i want to show you so here you need to specify the input column here and for the function leave it as empty and for the operator you need to specify greater than here you have a lot of options like uh, equals or not equal to as well as greater than lower than and lot of functionalities like that and you have to specify the value also here the price is integer so you need to specify integer value here my value is uh, 15000 so what it means is you have to like it will filter out the prices which will have greater than 15000 so this is how it will work now another thing what we need to do is we need to add some component here t log row component we need to change the mode to table and i am connecting the t filter row to here for t filter row we will have two outputs here one is filter and another one is reject so filter out means uh, we have suppose we have 100 columns 100 rows in the t filter uh, for the input file then after filtering out you will have some le file like uh, you will have some rows which will which is less than the input rows suppose if you have 100 rows and after filtering if you have 50 rows then another 50 rows will come under the reject values so what i am doing is uh, first of all i am connecting the t log row component using the filter and i am also going to show you how the reject values are also get considered so i am saving it and i am running it so let's see the difference of uh, in the designer tab how many rows are present in the input and how many rows you are getting in the output so let's see what it will get so if you consider this see initially we have uh, from t input file delimited to t filter row we have total of nine rows but in the output column you have only three rows because what we have done is we have uh, mentioned the condition as price is greater than 15,000 now what I want is I want to collect those remaining six rows also for that what I am doing is I am adding another T log row component here and I am connecting with uh, reject uh, reject row reject connector from the T filter row now if you consider this and I am changing this to table mode and I am saving it and I am running it again so if you can stress this then you will get uh, for the filter it will get three rows and for the output uh, for the reject you will get six rows see here for the t, t log row one you are getting a uh, three rows having a price greater than 15,000 and here for t log row two you are getting a values uh, less than or equal to 15,000 so this is how it will work and another, wall, um, another thing also we can see here I am going to change this condition so what I want to do is I want to add two or three conditions. So along with the price greater than or equal to fifteen greater than fifteen thousand, I want to add the month here, which equals to April. So I am adding April here, April. And here uh, this is the logical operator we have to use here. If you want to use our operator, like uh, if you want to get the output having month equal to april or price is greater than 15000 you can use our operator here otherwise you can use and operator if you want to like check the condition if you want to satisfy both these conditions then you can specify and here and let's see what how it will run and how it will get the output see only one row is present in the uh, one row is present after filter and remaining eight rows are present in the output reject values if you consider this see only one value is there for having a month equal to april and price equal to price is greater than 15000 and for the t log row to component the all the remaining component all the remaining rows are there so this is how t filter row will work without the help of a t map editor in the t map editor we can we have to like uh, we have to mention uh, using the java code you can also mention there uh, you, uh, multiple conditions there but it is a, it requires a lot of uh, java code and all if you are not good at java and uh, if you want to use the filtering uh, if you want to do the filtering then t filter row is the best component to use in the transformations in talent studio so that's all for this video guys thank you for watching